at home overview of how the Hornady STT.264 140 grain bullet performed shot out of a 6.5 Creedmoor go check out submoashooting.com you can get these sample packs save yourself some money in load development the low velocity load was traveling just over 1600 feet per second and the high velocity load was right around 2800 feet per second we'll start here left to right with that high velocity load opening up almost immediately you got that really good portion of that permanent wound cavity running to the 11 and an eighth inch mark and then you carry a little bit more permanent wound cavity just past the 14 inch mark where the bullet's leading edge is 18 and 5 eighths. Got tears on all four sides of my block from that, so you have over a 5 inch uh, massive portion of that permanent wound cavity. And then on that low velocity load, you see that bullet opening up at about an inch and an eighth, carrying good really good permanent wound cavity from the two inch mark to the 14 inch mark and then where the leading edge of that bullet was was 22 and 3 eighths that good portion of that permanent wound cavity on the largest section is three inches out there by that 14 inch mark you're still running over one inch permanent wound cavity so overall Pretty darn good performing bullet. Right there up to par with the uh, nozzle Raki bonds. That low velocity load was a retained weight of 120.2. And we will cut this one out quick. I'll go rinse the ballistics gel out of it. And then we will get a retained weight on it. Definitely can't complain with that mushroom. That's what a bullet should look like. Retained weight on that was 86.7. So overall, I have to say that would be a, a excellent choice shot out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. Definitely performed a little bit better than I thought it would. Hope you guys enjoy the video.